sombrita, te gustan los, los cerdos? Continuing the journey to try and get up that volcano. He said it's just like a kilometer walk at the end. Wow. I asked him if my truck was far enough to horseback cowpoke. And he said, we're gonna get to a point where we're gonna have to walk. <laughs> Siva Laguna. Which is pretty much what everybody's been saying. Nobody's really been super descriptive about. But I mean, honestly, the best thing to do is just press forward on the path they keep pointing us. Hope it works out. Well, we hit a traffic jam here on the road. It is 5.20, you know, everyone's trying to get back from work. Come on, beautiful. It's just that this side of the road is like a big pit. Yeah. And there, why don't you guys walk in the pit? Oh my gosh, I wonder if we can actually make it past this point up here. This is looking a little rough. Well, it's just, I have to be where you are, man. I can't. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for yeah, letting us pass. One. You're coming lovely. Oh, that was probably the sketchiest part of the road yet. I never intended to drive this far down this road, but it's honestly better driving during the day because we can run the AC, it's pretty hot here, and then hopefully we can hike up early, early. So, you know, we have to leave the cat, but we'll put like every fan for him. Try and get it done early. We're certainly getting closer to the thing. Yeah, it says on Mount Sat Lee, we're only uh, two miles away from the viewpoint, so. Ooh, let's just go tonight. <laughs> night hike. Yeah, night as in 4 a.m. Night tonight. hike. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure which road to take here, but the neighbors told me it's the right one from these two. She said, we're gonna be able to go about another kilometer or less than a kilometer more, and that'll be the parking spot. Oh, okay. She said it was the same as how it's been though. And I said that was okay. <laughs> she was like, well, that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so crazy. this is the part that they're working on here. So I'm a little nervous. I was worried about getting stuck, but yeah. now I'm a lot more worried about those bumps. But honestly, they're going away, right? So let's go. No, they're still there. You could get stuck here though if you slow down too much. So. Yeah, you gotta keep But that's so crazy that Kurt and Snow drove all the way to the top of that. Yeah. Road. And then remember at Pekaya, our friends, they drove all the way up to the. Like, all the way up to Pekaya, remember? Yeah, it's in the like, um, satellite dishes. It's so funny. It's so funny. But now we're kind of doing the same thing. No, this isn't like those roads. This is yeah, definitely adventurous. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely adventurous because I don't think that many people do it, but I don't, it's just not very Is dusty. Oops. I mean, even even just me walking in it, it's a, it's like two inches. My feet fall down two inches. Look how dusty it is. You can't even see the van. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang, it's okay. That looks really stressful. So here's the current situation with the road up ahead. Dip, crazy steep, or becoming sketchy track here. That stretch back there got so dusty, I almost got stuck. So we're just gonna keep it here. Just, uh, people can get by if they need. And turning around in the morning is gonna be exciting. But that'll be after we do the hike. Sautan line. Dirt line. <laughs> oh my God. I asked Emily if she'd jump out to get that clip of me driving out here, I didn't know the road was going to deteriorate that quick. I was jumping through the dirt and I thought you could see me, 
because uh, my foot kind of sank down an inch to jump through the dirt. Now you gotta warm me next time. So, we could have got a tour guide, but here we are. Well, we woke up at 4 a.m. to do this hike when it's nice and cool out here in Nicaragua. What time is it? 4.20. Time on the clock. All ready to go, 4.30. We're gonna hike a volcano, Cosiguina. And it'll have a huge crater lake in there. We'll be able to see three countries. El Salvador, Honduras, and the one we're in, Nicaragua. Up over here, sunrise action with the mountain there, and over here you can see the ocean. Following the four wheel drive road, I don't think anybody can drive down this part. Well, we were following that road and we missed this turn here. Sorry to mess on me. Starting to feel more like a hike. Animals are getting really loud all of a sudden. Insects, they say there's a red macaw that lives here that's basically gone everywhere else. But thanks to the app, maps out me for making me look over on the side there, find this trail. It also lightened up a bit, which helped. And the podcast we were listening to was over, so I was paying more attention. So now we've passed five police guards who either they spent the night here this is the the camping area or he said they started really early I think Emily and they came up this morning I think their military guys had their guns well the one guy had his gun like ready not pointed at us but like but it was in his hand like he could point it at us which is kind of weird, which, cause usually it's just slung on the side and they don't really touch it or anything, but he was like totally touching it. So that was a little weird, but we probably surprised them. Not a lot of people, that were the first people we saw. So there is the line of sunlight. Emily's crossing it. How does it feel? <laughs> wow. The sun is now up from our perspective. If you're out here trying to find a trail, you wanna look for these blazes. Here we have three in a row, clearly marked trail. Probably thanks to the, the military dudes. So the first group of police said there'd be some others behind. ID and stuff. Maybe need payment or something, but nobody asked for anything, so that's good because I don't have anything. <laughs> so here we are coming up to the edge of the crater. from the El Salvador side, Kurt and Snow. Insane they drove up that. So we have made it. The rim of the crater, the view of three countries. And now we can walk along this trail here, along the edge of the crater. Have a PB and J. Yeah, <laughs> just pure views from here on. that we wanted to get a guide this time. Like we, we had a guide. The guide would tell you that that water is called the Gulf of Fonseca. <laughs> we actually drove around this whole thing. I love how you can see how small the 
skinny the peninsula is like you can see the ocean like right there. Yeah. We're just gonna walk this trail. There's supposed to be another Mirador somewhere. Beautiful up here. so early that it feels great out. It's probably still not even 80 degrees yet. It'll be getting up to 100 later. Right there's the rim of the crater and coming down is steep. Need some ropes for that. <laughs> we just saw a squirrel and a bird over there though. crater hikes lately because when you get up to the rim you have an amazing view the whole time besides that they're just beautiful and they're hidden things you don't see until you're right up there because from far away this just looks like a hill and I wish we had time to hike all the way around it like we did it Boquerón up above the capital of El Salvador San Salvador nonetheless these crater lake hikes are gorgeous the first one we did was in Mexico for my birthday to Chichonal. And that crater lake you can actually walk down to and go swimming in the hot springs that form the crater. You like craters? Love it. <laughs> always have the element of danger being on the side of a being on the side of a cliff the whole time there's a big old termite colony don't see the trail heading down the tree but the guide showed us the other day that Cool. Honestly, the more hikes we do in Central America and south of the U.S. in general, the more I want a machete because some of these trails are a bit overgrown and that's how the locals get around through these areas where the brush grows pretty quick. Just bring your own machete, slice up anything in your way. Ready to head 
down? Yeah, I'm ready. We always got to memorize the way down, but thankfully we got those red blazes to rely on as well. And we should be at the van in about 30 seconds. Beautiful views coming down. Another great thing about Crater Lake hikes. Right now it's 8 o'clock. We woke up four hours ago already. So we've been hiking for about three hours. A little bit more, three hours, 15 minutes. We were expecting three hours total, but we should be fine. We still got more water, snacks. So we're taking an alternate route back to the van based on what our maps are telling us. It's in the middle of the night. We got a little turned around for a second. And this should be a little more direct. And hopefully prettier than that road. That trail definitely was a shortcut because... Made it back to the road! Here we go. If we would have seen this in the middle of the night, off to the side here, it would have been nice. I feel like I did look over here. Look, I, it's hard to tell that trail's there, huh? But I could have used the GPS a little more carefully. We were listening to that fire podcast program. So smooth sailing now back to the van. There's the van. Just a glimpse of it. So the van looks okay. Again, if we come down here, stick left, and then we can pull up into this side road, back out, get going the way we need to go. Get a little dirty? Just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, my boy. Hey, buddy. He's okay. Otherwise, might try to turn around here. Looks like somebody was here while we were gone, and they pulled up into here. Turn around. And that's the sketchy part over here. Island. It's a whole town. Pueblito. That's it. Now we are free to make a fool of ourselves trying to turn this fan around and get out of here. And is I'm gonna back up straight a little, turn the wheels, put the back of the van here, and hopefully pull out that way and right off to glory. did not work. <laughs> we are unstuck at least. I think we got fully stuck. Let's try something else.
cleared it. Woohoo! Wow, well we got the van turned around, but I am nervous. This is the sketchiest part of the road that we've driven. But it's going downhill this time, so we're gonna rock the dual camera angle. Emily's got this other one. So here we go. This part was fun. Okay, so here's the start of it. It's downhill this time. Okay, just stay in the tracks. Way easier than going up there. <laughs> I like, I could still, I could still get us stranded right now though. Don't get too excited. Okay, so. Here, maybe that's, we'll just stay in the tracks. Even if the tracks are deep, just stay in the tracks. Wow, that's it. That was the bad part. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm closing the windows because the smoke or the dust is streaming in, but we made it through the sketchy part. Now we just gotta go slow for quite a ways and gonna be excited to hit that pavement. Yes, the most Southern Wawa. <laughs> you didn't get a picture of the van with it? But it's closed. Yeah. Oh, it must be only closed. Oh, no, it is open. Thanks for watching our crazy Volcan Cosiguina adventure. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comments and subscribe. See you guys next time at the beach.